<laughs> Hassan and I are both big fans of comedy, so we were excited over the weekend that they roasted Rob Lowe on Comedy Central, and we're very familiar with the comedy community in LA. We actually know some of the joke writers for uh, the roast, so we wanted to go down some of the best burns from the roast of Rob Lowe and then talk about celebrities that we think it's time to roast. And then also Ann Coulter was on the dais. Ann Coulter had actually a couple good burns. I was very surprised that she, one, showed up for this. Doesn't seem like her typical thing. And also Ann she Coulter had some very good writers. Anything. She will do anything to get more publicity. She's a provocateur. It's in her nature yeah. to be... She thrives in an environment like this where she feels out of place and she sticks out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. I hate that she did a good job. I know. And I hate that she took all the jokes and I wasn't alone in my hate, but go on well, with that and, says, I'll, and I'll get back to it. Well, she says to Jimmy Carr, who is from England, she says, we have comedian Jimmy Carr with us because of Obama's lax immigration policy, which I thought was very funny. Um, and then she also noted that she was going to get roasted a lot. She said, I want to welcome you to the Ann Coulter roast with Rob Lowe, which was very true. She got the brunt of it. Of this, course. Uh, another one of my favorite jokes is from Nikki Glaser. Glazer, I what is with my pronunciation today? I don't know. It's you're, early. You're a comic I haven't had in the Los Angeles yet. community reading other comics jokes right now. We're just running down also, for our viewers. And also fucking up their names. Nikki so Glazer. You're you're cut from the comedy store, I think, after this That's video not comes nice. out. Anyway, I want to read this joke because my roommate actually wrote it, and I think it's awesome. Ooh, um, yeah, so he, a joke by Jay Light? Yeah. Written by Jay Light. So, yes, yeah, so he says of, of Rob Lowe, she says, you look like you're sculpted, you put this statue in statutory rape, which I think is very funny. I have um, an interesting Rob Lowe story that backs that up. Oh, God. And then uh, another to, one I from Nikki. I went to a Little Mermaid after party, and Rob Lowe, who is now... I, a gajillion years old, mm -hmm. but still tries very hard to look like he's in his, you know, 30s, late 30s, late, I mean, early 40s, as mm -hmm. much as possible with his tan bod, was there with a girl that was younger than me. And then they left, obviously. She was pretty cute, too. And in my mind, I was like, good job to Rob Lowe. Uh, you're still killing it. Um, congrats. Also, possibly very sad. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. at that age, you're like, what? I can't even have a conversation with like 18 year old, 19 year old girls, like how are you um, relating to them at a personal level or is this just a physical thing? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I just, I, Rob is a perfect person to roast. Mm -hmm. He just is. Do you have more quotes that you're looking at me like, yeah. I still have more quotes. I do. Why are you, why do you keep interrupting me? Well, I'm just I just really excited a, about the story. I know, just had a, well that was a, that was a great story about Rob Lowe. Um, thank you, Hassan. But the, another one that I liked from Nikki was Jewel is here, or as I call her, Trailer Swift. I've heard this term before. Great! That was a funny joke. And then of course, I want to end on my favorite Jeff Ross, who is of course the roast master. Uh, he did a great job, um, and he said of Ann Coulter, Ann is against gay marriage. What is your thinking on that? If I can't get a husband, they can't either? Burn. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, yeah, it was a great roast of Rob Lowe. Uh, these roasts are turning out to be really successful for Comedy Central. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think that for a while they kind of, they took a dip. Remember they roasted Donald Trump back in the day, and those roasts were less fun. But I think that ever since the roast of Justin Bieber and, you know, Roast Battle was great for Comedy Central as well, we're seeing a resurgence of sort of the love-to-hate comedy because you only roast the ones you love. So who would you love to see roasted, Hassan? Professionally, Comedy Central roasted. I don't know. I thought about this. Mm -hmm. I really, I really can't single out anyone because they already did Justin Bieber. Okay. You know what I mean? So uh, who's really like open to being roasted? It, it has to be someone that takes themselves too seriously. Yeah, Kanye West. Kanye is, West, I think, would be great to see. Him or Taylor roasted. Swift. Taylor Swift. Because would it would be, be great. cringy and so awkward because she would be she. Seems like the type of person who would never be able mm -hmm. to take a joke. Right. I just, I feel that way about her. Do you know what but I mean? But you also know that Taylor Swift would, so the way that these roasts work is that they have this dais of comedians that are selected. And then those comedians will work with other comedians that they admire to write a really good joke for every person yeah. that is there. And I think the reason why Taylor Swift would be so good at a roast would be, you know that she would assemble a fucking squad of comics to help yeah. her with her material. Yeah, but all hot comics. They're like, all where'd you hot... find all these hot yeah. comics? And they'd all be si they'd like yeah, show they'd them sitting sit at a table. Her, yeah, and like... you're like, this is Taylor Swift's hot comic squad. It's so much better than yours. Yeah. Like, fuck, how did you so find So Taylor these? Swift would be good. Um, um, Kanye West would be great. Yeah. Um, maybe it? maybe Beyonce, because I think she needs to be taken down a notch. Oh, I said it. You know that. I said it, Pop Trigger fans. Well, Beyonce would be great to be roasted as well, because she would have the fiercest of comebacks. Because look at, I mean, her, 
someone like Taylor Swift, Kanye West, and Beyonce, the reason why they're so fun to roast is that you can roast them, you can say whatever you want about them, but they can still go up there and have their dignity knowing that they are the motherfucking. That, that's why they're Justin the Bieber. Yeah, that's why Justin Bieber's roast was so fun. Yeah. Because you. It, you Whereas know, some, in the case of Rob Lowe. No, or also in the case of like in, of Charlie Sheen, it was uncomfortable because it was like this guy's in the middle of a train wreck. Yeah. And they're roasting him. It felt bad, you know, because you want you want to roast people that you love that are that you're. It's a way of celebrating someone, and that's why I think also in the online community they've missed the point of roasting because roasting usually is like just people dissing each other, and it's very. Uh, mean-spirited, it's not sort of a celebratory thing, where it used to be how people would come together to roast this person on, like, people would ask to get roasted on their birthday. It's, you know, it's sort of an honor. Yeah, um, yeah, because it's, yeah, exactly, you're celebrating this person for all of their faults and all of their, you know, mm -hmm. insecurities, but also all of their uh, accomplishments. Yeah, that, the roast of James Franco was another really good one, because they yeah. had all these celebrated actors and uh, performers and comedians on and stage. And James Franco. And also James Franco was there. <laughs> um, and it was just, you could tell they were all having fun with it and it was a great time for them to come together. Another person uh, that I would like to see roasted, oh my God, I totally forgot who I was gonna say. One thing I heard, by the way, behind one. the scenes, this what? is some behind the scenes information. Um, Peyton Manning, as you may or may not know, is, uh, is an outspoken conservative. Mm -hmm. And yet, uh, he even he was actually kind of upset that Ann Coulter was there. Like he, he thought really? it was offensive that they were uh, giving Ann Coulter mm. a stage. Well, to... he actually said of Ann Coulter. Oh, he did. I'm yeah. not the only athlete up here. As you know, earlier this year, Ann Coulter won the Kentucky Derby. That's a great joke. I mean, yeah, but this was more serious. Like his thoughts about Ann Coulter. Right. We're not a little bit more serious than that. Especially as a conservative, he thinks that she does a disservice to that. Republican conservative mentality by being this provocateur who always says the most extreme yeah. shit. Yeah, who's very obviously looking for the limelight, which yeah. she got in a big way at uh, Roast. Yeah. Um, who would you roast within the TYT family? You. Oh, really? Yeah, probably. I'd probably roast you. Don't look I like would that. roast you back. I would totally roast you, actually. Exactly. I've thought about this before because I don't roast, and a lot of my friends in the comedy circuit do. And I, uh, when, when people ask me why do you choose not to roast, and I think I could only roast myself. I have a lot of jokes about myself and my face. Um, or, uh, or Comedy someone... Central presents Grace Baldridge's face. The roast of Grace's face by Grace face. Um, by Grace face. Uh, or I could roast some, like, or an actual friend of mine who is not a comic. Like, those are the only people I could roast. Like, I could roast Tina so very well. So you don't, well. you can't roast, roast anyone that can fight back, is yeah. what you're saying. I can yeah. only roast people And you should only moment. pick on people your own size. But guys, we <laughs> want to hear from you in the comment section below. What, uh, what celebrities, what artists, what musicians, actors, comedians, whatnot, who do you want to see roasted? Uh, who would you roast? of the Pop Trigger family, of the TYT family. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Hassan Piker. I'm Grace Baldridge. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.